What's good ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're having a great day. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you and giving you some tips on how you can earn mithril powder within the dwarven mines. As always, this video does help you guys out. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button. If you guys are new around here, you guys want to see some more high pixel sky black content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn this post notification on so you get notified every time I get upload a brand new video or go live. And let's get right into it. One of the best ways of increasing your mithril powder gain is by actually getting a mithril golem pet. Now these are pretty cheap on the auction house. They're going for about 2 million coins right now. You might be thinking, should I get a light? legendary instead of an epic and no you should not the reason for that is because the legendary one only adds an additional ability which increases your combat stats by 20 percent on mining islands it's not really that useful and it certainly does not help with mithril powder a level 100 legendary gives plus 20 percent more mithril when you're mining and so does an epic one they're literally the exact same you don't have to worry about that the mithril golem pet is actually pretty cheap and it's also super easy to level up you can see mine right here is level 81 and that's really easy to level up because literally when you're in the dwarven mines all you're going to be doing is mining so it's going to be super easy to level this pet up as you mine and also another really amazing way to get a ton of mithril powder is by actually mining the mithril ores right here and these blue ones that take a lot longer to actually break give you a lot more mithril than say this when breaking these blue wool blocks i say i get more than six on average every single time now for breaking these sort of prismarine blocks you get less than six every time it seems to be between two and four although that might not be 100 percent accurate but it is the same thing with these blocks as well and then these gray blocks right here they barely give any sometimes they don't even give any at all as you can see i've mined a couple and it still hasn't moved so finally right there i got two i got another two so sometimes they reward it sometimes they don't but these are actually the least rewarding for at least mithril powder mining these blocks are super quick way quicker than all the other ones so they're good for completing your commissions because if you need to get up titanium and stuff like that you can break these a lot quicker but they're a lot worse for the powder you also might be wondering does fortune or does mining fortune actually increase your chances or the quantity that you receive with the mithril powder when testing this it does not seem like it does increase your chances at all or increase the quantity that you actually get of course another way of getting mithril powder that is amazing is the event that is literally currently active you can see at the top of my screen right now and that is the passive two times mithril powder event that is going on what that means is that when you mine any of these blocks you actually receive double the normal dust that you would receive so of course, mining right now is a perfect time if you're strictly just going for the powder. Another amazing way to get a ton of powder is actually that random ghost event that occurs pretty often. One time, I got lucky enough where the lobby was dead and I was able to basically shoot it the entire time myself and I got many thousands of dust. I'm not exactly sure how much it was, but it was a ton. Another really good way of getting powder is actually by completing those 20 minute events. Literally, all you have to do for the goblin event is kill 25 goblins and you can leave and let the rest of the people finish it and you'll get a thousand mithril powder just like that 1000 isn't a ton but still it's pretty nice for just killing 25 goblins which can take probably less than a minute you can also compete in the raffle event and if you're lucky enough to get the three times rewards you can actually get 3000 mithril powder which is pretty nice as well on top of those events you can also turn in commissions to get a little bit of mithril powder as well 161 is really not that much at all but still it's an okay way to get it it's a, a way to get it i guess there's also an npc which which will spawn right at this location so negative 107 150 negative 22 it's actually within the rampage quarry and basically i don't know when this npc spawns his name is Malmar, and i don't really actually know when he spawns i was actually mining here one day and i randomly saw an npc here and i was confused because he had a purple name and i'm like did i just never see him before but no an npc actually randomly spawns here at some point i have no clue when and he actually sells mining pumpkins now mining pumpkins give you 60 minute effect which actually gives you level 5 spelunker effect and also plus 5% mithril powder gain. Now plus 5% is not a ton but still it's not too bad if you want to get that extra mithril powder. The puppy in itself usually costs 98,000 from the NPC but you can also buy them on the auction house right now for 115 or if you want to buy a couple you can actually buy it for like 100k which is only like 2k more per pumpkin pie so it's really not too bad. There's also another way of getting some powder that I recently discovered that I've never seen before but basically there are random dragon eggs that literally spawn around the map and it seems like they can spawn anywhere and it's really weird i was kind of surprised when i saw one on the ground but if you see a dragon egg on the ground you can click it and you can receive a very small amount of powder but it's still kind of cool i guess there's also a couple of different spread out secret or side quest npcs this one fetcher is right next to spawn you guys have probably seen them already if not the coordinates are on the top left of the screen basically every single day you can come 
on this dude, he's going to ask you for a couple of different things. Like today, he wants a firework. Whenever you give Fetcher what he wants, you'll actually get 1,000 mithril powder. So the next NPC is the puzzler. Now, if you guys don't know where the puzzler is at, he's actually right next to the king. And you can see the coordinates at the top. The king's right there. You go to this room over here, which is to the king's left. Go right through here. And here's the puzzler. He'll put a couple of arrows in chat, and you pretty much follow him facing the door, starting at the glowstone block. So two left, two up two down, one left, two up, one left. And boom, there we go. Now we got a thousand mithril powder and we can come talk to them again tomorrow and do the same exact thing. Another way of getting powder is actually by finding golden goblins. Now, you can randomly find golden goblins as you're mining completely random. They're actually pretty rare and you also need them for a commission as well. You can also use goblin eggs and literally by tossing goblin eggs down on the ground, just throwing them, they can actually spawn as well, even though they're also pretty rare. As you can see, I just went through nine of them and I couldn't even spawn a single one. I think you get about 200 powder from killing them, so it's also not really that great if we go inside of the heart of the mountain there are a couple of different perks which actually affect your mithril powder gain like this one right here star powder it actually requires tier five but mining mithril ore near the fallen crystals give plus three extra mithril powder for every single ore that you mine that's pretty good that's actually a decent amount of extra mithril powder although i'm not sure if this is the best perk that you should get for mithril powder i'm just going over all of them and we're going to continue going over more daily powder gain 200 mithril powder from the first mithril ore that you mine every every single day 200 mithril powder from the first ore that you mine every day that's a good amount although i don't think this is a great perk to level up i think there's other better ones but you can pump this all the way up to like level 100 and you could probably get like thousands from your first ore of the day that's pretty cool there's also the goblin killer perk which killing a goblin gives extra mithril powder i don't think that's an amazing one but hey it's a perk you can also use the sky mall which every sky block day you receive a random buff in the dwarven mines that is not every 24 hours i think a sky block day is about 20 minutes and one of the perks inside of here is actually gain plus 15 percent powder from mining which that's pretty good anyways ladies and gentlemen i think i've gone over every single possible thing that you can get mithril powder from if i did miss anything or you guys have any other tips please leave in the comment section down below anyway hope that you guys did enjoy the video if the video did help you guys out or you guys did enjoy it make sure you smash the like button if you're new around here you guys want to see some more high pixel sky block content make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn post notifications on so you get notified every single time i go live or upload a brand new video Anyway, hope that you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.